Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, KFAR back again. Once again, this is going to be a Sovereign Citizen two-part. I believe the first video is going to be him getting his shit towed. The second part, which I'm probably going to do right after, is him apparently going to the tow yard and uh, finding out. Enjoy the video. All right, so I'm just sitting here minding my own business for the, for the record. We're going to use some common sense right off the bat. If you have a GoPro strapped to your chest while you're driving around your private land ship, uh, yeah, you're not minding your own business and you're probably up to no good. I've been told I'm not detained. I've done nothing wrong and I don't Please intend to do anything checked. wrong. I see this website. It's the gov.uk website. Yeah. On there you can put in a VRM. Uh, it'll tell you whether a vehicle is taxed or whether a vehicle has an MOT. Mm -hmm. uh, can you just confirm it is Kilo Echo Zulu 1125? That is your registration. It, it, That's a one. It's not my it's registration, it's, well, it's the DBLA registration. registration. For, it's the registration for the vehicle. Um, for this car? Yeah. It's the registration that it's registered as a commercial vehicle, yeah. Yes, so that is, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that vehicle needs to be taxed to be operated on a public road. Um, you do know that, yeah. If I, if I consent to registration, the tax, it does, yeah. The tax date is shown expired in the first It's not May, being used in commercial 20, capacity, 20, you know, so it doesn't need to be taxed. It, it, it needs to be taxed. No, it doesn't. doesn't only, it, only don't it. check it. If it's, you've been, I will check. Listen, it's, it's registered as a PLD, yeah? Do you know what that means? Listen, I'm just trying to explain something to you. Well, so I'm, as you I'm can trying see, to explain to you, but you're not see, listening to me, are you? It's untaxed as of the 1st of May this year. Now, obviously, given that the international global pandemic that's going on, we appreciate that vehicles have gone past MOTs and gone past tax and such like that, and there has been extensions. However, the extensions have ended. It is now August. You need to get yeah. this vehicle tax. Oh, okay, under what, under, uh, can I ask you a question? Under what, do, under what law are you, are, are you telling me that this car needs to be taxed? The vehicles have to be taxed. And under what law? And MOT under what law? Drive. Under what law is that? Uh, I don't exactly have the exact law for you, sir. Do you know me? I can tell us a fact, and you can go and check it out. There's no law that okay, says so, so my car, everyone. my private convenience has to be taxed. It's registered as a private, like I'll, I'll educate you now, right? A private light like goods, right? Vehicle, right? Private light like goods vehicle is goods, goods as commercial entities, right? Right? It's it's registered. If I want to use this in a commercial capacity as a driver, which I'm not as a driver, I'm not acting as a driver. I'm travelling my pri private conveyance in my private capacity and this is all lawful me you can go and check it out right if i want to use this commercially as a taxi or to carry goods or to earn money right it, it is the paperwork is done it's a registered a taxed and mot to do that in a safe manner right so that's what i that's what the law requires that's what the law requires you just okay. don't understand the you've law. had it taxed up until may this year so you obviously no that was the previous i wanted to make my job on that yeah so this sovereign citizen in the UK seems to be going and using the same logic as American sovereign citizens when they try to intentionally misquote Black's Law Dictionary 2nd Edition. They get some definitions kind of uh, wonky with driver and employ. Then you look up the word employ and it means to make use of something. If you are behind the wheel of a car with the key in the ignition making it go somewhere, congratulations, you are making use of it. It does not require you to be Uber, a taxi, a truck driver. You're making use of it. Congratulations, you're employing it. Therefore, a driver. Suck it. Listen, if you don't get your vehicle taxed, it could be seized from you. It's not a vehicle, mate. It's not acting as a vehicle. It's, it's a private it's, a it, it's not. It's registered as a motor vehicle. It's it DBLA. It's not. It's registered as a motor vehicle. It doesn't become a motor vehicle unless it's being used in a commercial capacity. And that is a fact in the law, mate. One might think if he's actively trying to record this to make some sort of ad revenue off YouTube, Rumble, Facebook, uh, that would make him in commerce. For the record, on camera, prove me wrong, mate, and I'll accept it. That's conditional acceptance. About, no, but I'm sure. talking about the law. You should be, you should be upholding the law, and you don't understand don't what I'm talking about. about. See what I mean, mate? It's all wrong. Well, you know, everything's all wrong. Every motor vehicle that operates in the road. Yeah, because you've been told that. Do you know if you told that somebody seen a pink elephant flying, would you believe them, mate? So I know this takes place in the UK, but we're going to pluck it up, move it across the ocean, drop it in America for a second. Do I think that there are flying pink elephants? Well, if everyone was carrying a flying pink elephant in their pocket or in their, you know, center console, glove compartment, and our highest court in the land ruled about it 100 years ago, and every state has laws saying, yes, pink flying elephants are real, I'm going to assume that pink flying elephants are real because I have one in my pocket. So this analogy 
whether it's UK, whether it's America, whether it's the North Pole, it doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, do you believe the governments? Do you believe the governments? There's a little bit of a difference. Do you think the governments are honest people? There's do you a really bit of do a difference that? between yeah, no, taxing a moose there's a big difference, you know. and a pink elephant flying, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But there's a difference between compliance, right, and not consenting as well. <laughs> and there's a big difference. And, and I, do not consent, I do not consent to any legislation, mate. I've done the affidavits, signed and witnessed, mate. Acquiesced to. It's been sent to all the government representatives. And it's been acquiesced to, mate. Do you know what that means? It's been accepted that I do not consent to be governed and policed by legislation. And I've got the paperwork to prove it, mate. Go on, Is that an order or a request? <laughs> I'm, I will do, I won't, yeah. I'm getting hungry you now, so I'm going to have my dinner. Whatever. Well, mate, do you know what, mate? I, I, I appreciate you. You're very professional. You're doing your job properly. And I do I do appreciate that. I really do. You're a, you're a good cop, mate. You are. Anyway, I only came over here to well, inform you that it's not yeah, I know, no, taxes, I know, yeah, I know. Right, so thanks, a... thanks, mate, for being professional. Because you could have done a lot of different things at different ways. A few moments later. Unfortunately, um, you're free to leave, but you've got to leave your vehicle here. The vehicle's right. going to be getting seized. It's my car, not my vehicle. Right. Well, your car, so it's an untaxed, car's on council property. Public property. Okay. Public property. It's council. So you're seizing, okay. you're seizing my car? On what grounds? Well, my, my supervisor's coming off now. Yeah. Any minute, if you want to have a word, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. Get out of my car! Aww. I'm sorry guys, that's all that was playing in my head when they're like, yeah, get out of the car, the supervisor's on his way, and he just... That's all I heard in my head. Also, jumping back about a minute and a half here, if a sovereign citizen more frauditor files knowingly bullshit paperwork to the government, and the government doesn't respond, that does not mean the government thinks you're, you know, Einstein Part 2 and they're automatically going to accept it. It means they know it's bullshit and already threw it away. They did not accept it. Just want to turn your engine off then, close, please. It's not a vehicle issue, no, it's a car. What well, car do you want to turn your car off, close, please? Your engine off? No, I'd rather leave it alone. Yeah, it's, cold. Oh, sorry. it's cold and my heat is around. Okay. Oh. Have you finished? Is any, is any reason why your car's not insured? Uh, uh, tax, sorry. Don't answer any more questions. Don't answer any more questions. Okay. That's it. There's my supervisor now. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, mate. Have you, have you got your camera on, mate? Yeah. Yeah. I'm an Is he as well? Yeah. Well, I don't know, actually, I can't see. Uh, I'm an enforcement officer for Liverpool City Council. Right, everything you do and say is being recorded on CCTV. We have. Uh, being recorded here as well, mate, on here. Oh, excellent. Thanks for that. Um, we have reason to believe that your vehicle's untaxed. It's not a vehicle, mate, it's my car. All oh, oh, right, your car is untaxed, is that correct? car doesn't have to be taxed, the vehicle does. Okay. That's correct. The vehicle is untaxed. It's not my vehicle, mate. It's not your vehicle? No, it's registered as a vehicle, but it's my, it's my car. It's your car? Yeah. Okay. Well, we believe the vehicle's untaxed, and as such, we're seizing that vehicle. Under what law? Under what law? Yeah. Under the vehicle excise law. I've never heard of that. Okay. It's a law or an act. So the vehicle's going to get seized. Is that legislation? Is that legislation? The vehicle's actually going to get seized. I'll explain to you everything in, in a minute. So uh, you're not free to drive off. Um, is the vehicle registered to you? Not a vehicle, mate. It's a car. It's registered as a vehicle. Is it registered and I'm to insure, you? I'm insured to use this vehicle. Is this it registered car. to you? It's not registered to me, no. Okay. So it's a car registered as a vehicle, but it's not registered to him, which means somebody's about to be pissed when he gets their car towed. Right, under the Vehicle Excise and Registration Act 1994, I'm going to call I, I don't event. consent to any action legislation you and statutes. Okay. Oh, you do, mate. We're no, governed and policed by no, consent. Oh, we are. Right. We are. No, in the UK, you're not governed by consent. In New Zealand, you're not governed by consent. And in America, you're not governed by consent. If that was the case, somebody could go out, commit murder, and then go, uh, well, I didn't consent to that law, so it doesn't apply to me. That's not how it works. Under the vehicle exercise and registration of 1994. This, this constable here, can you identify yourself, please? I already have. 
you do not have to see one card please may harm your defense, you do not please. mention when questions from which you later rely on in court anything you do say may be given in evidence do you one, understand one that? one am i being arrested for you're not being arrested i'm cautioning you you're cautioning me yeah you're reading my rights yeah i don't have to say anything you don't have to say anything all right no. thanks very much do you understand sir. what i've just said no 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 Why you're there. You're there from the car, your motor vehicle, whatever you want to call it. No comments, no comments. Okay, as I say, I'm going to issue this ticket. No, you're not. You're not issuing it to me, I don't accept it. No, I'm going to issue it to the car. I don't I'm going to put it on the windscreen, right? You can't issue a ticket to a car, mate. You can't issue a ticket to a car. So I wish for a second I could, you know, throw on my gas mask, sit next to a sovereign citizen, and show them this clip. Because for some reason, they think that the officer can just run the plate, run the tags, or make up a name and write that person or that vehicle a ticket and again that's not how it works you have to have a person to give the ticket the car rumor has it they have a, a tendency to not show up to court i have the option to sue them for wrong retaking my car as well and I will be, is it taxed do you know i'm, I'm a qualified ethical is it taxed is it taxed yes as far as i know it's taxed yeah right okay i'm just going to do it uh, it's this taxed is... you know why it's taxed right. and why it should be taxed right. to act in a commercial capacity as a private road like goods vehicle i'm using this to travel as my private conveyance right so have you taxed i am the under vehicle, under, no like... obligation to carry out any orders or legislation or acts i i yeah. we're placed on a government by consent you right. understand okay. that so what like, i do not consent to be governed or police by acts and legislation of the government. I am a private man yeah. in my private capacity. This is my private car where I'm traveling. Okay. I'll just do another check on it. So do you believe it's taxed? No comment, mate. Okay, that's fine. I, I, that's I have no beliefs. I just, I just work on facts. Okay. So if you're a private man, in your private capacity with your private car, keep your ass on private property because that's the only place you can drive it. Once you go out into the public, you're screwed. Also, if you can just consent to whatever laws you want, I hope somebody steals his car and then goes, ah, I don't consent to those laws. Yeah, it's been recorded here as well. Just to clarify, I'm asking you whether you believe this. I don't believe. I have no beliefs. I, no, I only believe. accept facts. Okay, well, we're going to seize the vehicle then. Illegally and unlawfully, you're seizing my, my car. Our records show that... I've explained to you, right, that I do not consent to act as that. I know you said that. And this is my car. It's registered as a vehicle yeah. under Crown Corporation registration rights, which I don't consent to. So it's you're, got you're nothing to do with me. I've got no joint with you, right? If you've got no contract. Car. You've got no authority Have to do insurance? to do anything to me or my private property. I've got insurance, yes. you consent to insurance? So but I don't consent, consent to any... I, I, I purchased insurance, right? Yeah. To make sure if I cause damage, harm, loss or injury to anybody, that yeah. I'm covered yeah. and they, the they, they, are, they are redressed by it. Yeah. Right, okay. that's why I've got insurance. Nothing to do with legislation, means. It's to do with public safety. Of yeah. course, I'm forced to know you know you're legally here, yeah. right? Lawfully here. Yeah. Lawfully. Yeah, you're yeah. lawfully here, but I'm lawfully I'll oblige to, to walk away and drive away. I'm and you touch me. Away, yeah, unlawfully. Lawfully. No, unlawfully. Lawfully. Under what law are you seizing it? Under you what law? No, you're talking to me. You've told me I act. I do not consent to ask my legislation, mate. I've got affidavits to prove a stand and acquiesce by the Queen and all the MPs. Now, I might not be as up to date on UK laws as someone uh, like Van Ballion, but I'm pretty sure Axe passed by the legislature, supersede some crazy sovereign citizen writing an affidavit that says, me no like laws in crayon, and then sending it in, I'm pretty sure that affidavit means nothing. I've got all the paperwork. Okay, man. In it. All right, mate. I'm just telling you the facts. Okay. And the facts are all the vehicles now seized. Oh, that's not facts. That's hearsay by you. It's not hearsay. It facts. is. It's a hearsay. You're stealing my property. You're stealing my property, mate. I do not consent to acts and statutes, right? Okay. I, I have got no obligation to any acts and statutes to tax a vehicle, right? It's not my obligation, mate. I'm a private man mm. under common law jurisdiction, right? Yeah. You've got no jurisdiction over me with your legislation. I do not consent. I have the affidavit signed and witnessed and acquiesced to to prove it. And I'm telling you this now, so if you pursue what you're doing, I will 
act upon it, right? right? And you personally, I will look into it to sue you for, for, for your, your offences against me. Why does it have to be taxed? I've just explained to you. Oh, you have Explain again to me. Just give you the act. It's an act. Act. Acts are only you enforceable. You told me you don't only enforceable them. by consent. I do not consent. Okay, you don't. For the record, consent. on camera, do okay. not consent to acts and statutes. That's fine. We're policed and, and, and governed by consent, and I do not consent. I'll take it away through affidavit, if you know what that is. Yeah. I'll take it away. I've gone to all the MPs. I've got the affidavit statement of fact. Right? That I do not consent to legislation. By enforcing legislation on me, you're what, breaking the law and you're committing a crime. What's your name, your first name? I haven't got a name, mate. You haven't got a name? I'm called Reginald. Reginald? Yeah, the oh, name right. belongs to the Crown, Crown Copyright Protected. I do not use the name, don't claim the name. What do you I'm a beneficiary of the name if I choose to be. Okay. I, I understand the law, equity law. I'm fully qualified in equity law, mate, and common law. I've been studying for eight years now. And trust me, you're wrong and you're committing a crime, what you're doing now. So we have another beneficiary who's been studying equity law and common law for eight years, but yet can't understand that a statute means a law passed by the legislature and doesn't consent to acts which were passed by the legislature because reasons, because he doesn't like them. That's, again, for the 50th time, that's not how it works. Okay. You're forcing legislation on me when I was told you, and you do know I do not consent, and you're carrying on pursuing what you're doing. Yeah. The vehicle, as I say, motor vehicle, car, whatever it's you want to call vehicle, it. It's not a vehicle, it's my car. It's your car, it's being seized, okay? There, there's a tow truck down, going to be down there in about 20 minutes. You do have the option to pay at scene. The driver will sort that out for you. So if you pay at scene, um, the car will not be taken. Do you understand? Do you, do you know you're breaking the law by doing this? Do you understand? I do not understand that. No, no. Well, when the tow truck arrives in, in, in about 20 minutes, right, there is an option to pay at sea. If you pay that surety, which the driver that has the details, it will be £260, OK? It's about that. So you're, so it, you're going to take is, my car? Yeah. Right. It's getting towed right. away. Right. You're, you're, personally, you you're to personally going to take my car? No, I'm not. No. The tow truck driver is. So you're, you're going to give that order, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, right. I will be responsible for that. Okay. Can I go now? No. Well, you can go. Sorry, yeah. you were never detained, but right. the car's staying. Just getting me stuff here. Yeah. All right. And you'll be hearing from me, mate. Right. Do you want, do you want me to issue you with this CLE? I don't want you to do anything. No further questions, and I'll answer no more questions, mate. So, okay, you're breaking the law, and I've, I've, and I've, 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 don't stand behind me, please, mate. I feel threatened. Oh, sorry. Can you, can you stand six, two metres away, please? Listen. I'm just conscious that you've still got the vehicle key and I just don't want you driving away. I'm not going to drive away, mate. Don't drive or travel. I told you. So by his logic, he'll get into his car and he'll throw that boy into travel. I have never been in a vehicle that had a travel option. It's always been a drive, but cars in the UK might be different. No, well, can you just repeat who you are, please? You identify yeah, yourself. No, identify yourself as a man, not as an officer. My caller number is 710. What's your name, please? What's your name, please? You do. You do. You do have to give me a name. You do. You're responsible for your actions. You can't hide behind a corporation. You know that. You're responsible for what you're doing now, and I will hold you, hold you personally responsible. What actions am I doing? What's breaking the law? <laughs> That's not a lawful action. That is a legal action, and I don't consent to legal actions. I don't consent to legal actions. I've got the affidavit to prove it, mate. It's been through the court, and it's been acquiesced to. So, so uh, no and I'm, I'm, you've, got, you've got no excuse that you didn't know. No Ignorance is no defense in the law, you know that, don't you? So first, I didn't think it was possible to have less teeth than broken system, broken trust. And then he's going to say, oh, ignorance of the law is no excuse. You literally said earlier, oh, well, what law says I need to have this registered and taxed? And then they gave you a law and you said, oh, I've never heard of that. Maybe you should take your own advice and, I don't know, maybe do eight years of studying on the actual law instead of the bullshit you find on Sovereign Citizen Guru websites. If you damage my car, I, you will be paying for it, mate. Well, I'll just give you the option to hand over the key so it can be safely Yeah, it's an option, mate. It's an option. It's, it's an option, mate, isn't it? If you damage it, you'll pay for it. That's, that's the option you've got. That's the option you've got as well. Just something important before you go. It's getting seized by a company called Rodcliffe, who are based in Highton. 
Yeah, so, I know them. Um, if you get in touch with them this afternoon, they'll be able to organise your collection yep. and how you get it back. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll just take the paperwork and I won't have to pay nothing, but you use it getting sued by me personally. Trust me, you will know. Go, go and find out who I am, mate. Go and, ask your, go, go and ask your former, go and ask your former chief constable who I am to resign because of me, and you will resign because of me as well. No, 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 thanks. No, thanks. No one used to do anything. You've done enough breaking the law today, and you will be held responsible for your own actions. You know that. Trust me, you will. Uh, these gentlemen are stealing my property, and I, I have I have told them the law. And they're ignoring the law, and the ignorance of the law is no excuse, and they do know what I've told them. You can go and check it out. They're going to be stealing my car. Ignorance of the law is no defence. Remember that. Bye, lads. You will be here from me. So that's the end of the video. He does a short walk of shame. I'm going to clip out the rest of the walk of shame. I'm assuming he's walking home to his shit shack he shares with his bruncle. It is what it is. But there is a part two where he goes somewhere else to do something stupid. And we're going to point him left. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Peace.